I'm here tonight outside of the State House in Boston, where a small protest has broken out in response to the lack of indictment towards the police officer that shot and killed Michael Brown earlier this year. Members of the Boston protest shared with me things they hoped would change because of the events in Ferguson. Boston police force? I uh, see them more as a threat at times. I, I understand that uh, it's not, this isn't as bad as some other major cities, but uh, you know, everything could always get better. There have been situations where it hasn't always been perfect. I also think it was wrong that uh, most black people here are not safe anymore. And it's really shocking because I'm, I'm here for my safety. I don't care about my safety and my other fellow um, African Americans. From what well, I, I know. The safety of all people, yeah. not just African Americans, but to start with uh, police brutality on all people. Protests in Ferguson did turn bloody tonight and those protests spun off in multiple cities throughout the United States. Here in Boston, protests grew larger as the night passed on, growing into large chant circles like the one behind me. Following a four-minute moment of silence, as requested by the family of Michael Brown, the protest wrapped up around 2 a.m., cumulating with a march down Tremont Street and onto Boylston Street in Boston. For CNNI Report, I'm James Piccarillo.